Hey, good morning. So as part of my New Year's resolutions and goals for the year, uh, which I mentioned in a previous video, one of my big goals for the year is to write a novel, actually. And so I have begun work on that, and today I want to announce you can read the first two chapters of my hard sci-fi novel, The Mars Career Crusade, at the uh, first link in the description below. So I am by no means a great writer, and the only way you can get better at writing is to write more. I've spent the past like two weeks and then slowly getting my head around the kind of hard sci-fi novel I want to write. Set on Mars in 2028-2029 on the third uh, Mars space age mission that is hopefully going to happen in real life in the real 2028-2029 just a few years time and an attempt to explore like what the first couple of years of Mars colonization is really going to be like because I don't think a lot of people realize that until it happens, but like, this is going to happen. We've been to the moon before, the science and the physics is sound, we're going to go to Mars in the next couple of years, and I want to explore what that's going to be like from a real scientific physics perspective. Uh, for a person you know, going to Mars, what life is going to be like, if we're going to try to create a city there, what the daily life is going to be like, what you're going to eat, what kind of things you're going to work on, what the actual problems are going to be. And so I have all this planning over here on this nice whiteboard, um, to see what kind of things will be a problem on Mars and what kind of things will actually create an interesting story. Um, this is, you can have a quick skim through there, but yeah, basically different characters I want to involve, different uh, uh, problems that are going to arise, such as radiation and electricity and I don't know, some big plot points here. I even wrote out a little manifest of what I think the uh, different starships going to the red planet uh, might contain inside uh, their cargo holds. But yeah, just basically really wanted to create a, a story about Mars and SpaceX because those are the, uh, SpaceX is the company that I think is going to get human beings to the red planet first. A lot of other organizations have talked about it in the past and haven't had the engineering backing uh, to accomplish it. And I think anyone worth their astrophysics and astronomy these days can see clearly that SpaceX and Musk's vision is fast becoming a reality and that's really exciting and just from my own uh, perspective and that as a young engineer who loves technology and is keen on the future um, I wanted to explore that and maybe get some people excited about it in a, in a technical and non-technical way you know if you're interested in reading sci-fi and fiction and characters the interesting characters and that maybe this can uh, you know get you excited about it so looking at my laptop so far, I've got 7,910 words so far. Only two chapters so far because I found it difficult to actually write hard sci-fi with the amount of research and that involved. Um, I would have written more this morning but I don't have Wi-Fi here yeah, yet in my new apartment yeah, uh, in Pretoria and so I haven't had time to do some research this morning but I'm getting on it. I'm trying every day to write at least 2,000 words and it's going well so far. I've got a protagonist Erica, who's uh, kind of an electrical engineer on the Mars mission and some exciting things have already happened, uh, if I do say so myself in the first two chapters. Maybe I'll go ahead sometime and actually read the, uh, first, <laughs> two cha the first chapter of like, live and post it on this channel. But yeah, it's uh, really interesting to me so far and I hope that you'll join me uh, along for the ride as I write my first sci-fi novel. I'm just like, as soon as I finish writing a chapter, reading through it once and then posting it onto this a WordPress blog in the description. So it's going to be lots of scientific inaccuracies, there's going to be lots of things that when I get to chapter 7 in chapter 1 don't make sense anymore and I should go back and change but I won't because I'm just going to try and blast my way through this first draft because I hear and I've read that that's the best way to write a novel. It's to, um, you know, suspend your editing critiqueness and suspend your ideas of perfection and just blast through the first draft and then when you finish with the first draft, go back, rework stuff, edit it and then over a successive iterations of um, proofreading and improving, you can create a sharper, better novel. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. It's been a long time goal of mine to write a novel and to, I don't know, I think I've got some ideas in my head worth uh, putting into fiction in particular because it's a nice way of sharing messages. So yeah, I'm going to get going on that. I'm going to start writing that chapter number three. But yeah, that's all for today. Just wanted to announce that I'm writing a hard sci-fi novel about SpaceX and Mars set in 2028-2029. Hit the link up in the description if you want to give it a read, let me know what you think. And I'll catch you in the next one for maybe an apartment tour. It's still pretty empty though, so there's not much to show. Just got the couch here, got the whiteboard here, internet connections coming later today. What more do you need? Thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon.